Hi, Phil from Defense Revive Repair here. I want to show you what's wrong with a Bic lighter when it comes to trying to light a fire when it's windy out. I've got the fan going. Here's the problem. Can't do it. Now, I move away. Still can't do it. I've got to come all the way over here to the workbench. In order to, and, you, and it's still a little bothered by the power of that fan. That's a fan I use down here in the workshop when I'm uh, making stuff. So, why am I pointing this out? Well, if we come back over to the fan and we take the Explorer lighter that we sell here at Defend Survive Repair, watch this. Unaffected by the wind at all. Look at how powerful that is. Now, uh, this is the Explorer Plasma Lighter that uh, we sell. It's rechargeable. The box that it comes in, let me get this out of here, it comes with a lanyard, instructions, a charging cable. Any charging cable will work as long as you have a micro USB charging plug. You're good to go. Um, I have lots of phone cables kicking around that will charge this. Uh, all you need is any USB charger and you can recharge the lighter. If you had a solar charger, you could recharge this thing in the field, all you wanted. And that, uh, the plasma, it's really just arcs of electricity. All you do to start a fire with it is stick your tinder into the arc. And then try not to burn your house down. That's a great lighter, and uh, I actually carry one of these in several of my survival kits. So if you're thinking about, uh, you know, your, your tinder kit, your fire starting methods, you should be carrying multiple redundant fire starting methods. This lighter is the way to go uh, as one of your backups, especially in combination with some kind of a charging device for the field.